Good day, everybody. Welcome back to the channel. Hey, I got a pile of thermal typewriters here, and I got two different kinds of letter size thermal paper. The first kind I have is the Brother branded thermal paper that I've been using for a couple years, but I just recently found on Amazon this Pentax branded thermal paper in letter size sheets and so I decided I'm going to do a comparison between these two and actually while I'm at it I'm just going to throw in like the Staples brand fax paper rolls in our comparison and also I will be throwing in a roll of EKG paper so we're going to do like four different kinds of thermal paper two letter size sheets two in rolls with five different thermal typewriters, the Canon Type Star 4, the Brother EP43, the Sharp PA1050, the Brother EP20, and the Canon Type Star 220 on the bottom. So five different thermal typewriters, four different kinds of thermal paper. Stay tuned. So because some of these thermal typewriters I haven't used in a while, they all have AC adapters, but I found that they all use the same kind of AC adapter voltage and connector. So I'm going to be powering all of these with the AC adapter intended for the EP43. I've already tested them all. They work fine with it. So hey, that makes it very convenient. I'd only have to use one AC adapter for five different thermal typewriters, three different brands. Isn't that cool? So we're going to be doing what's called a test matrix. We're going to be testing five different machines against four different papers. So you can kind of imagine a graph. We're not actually going to build a graph, but it does raise a good question. How am I going to do this? Well, I could start with one kind of paper and swap the same sheet through five different machines or start with one machine and run four different kinds of paper through it, which sounds maybe like a little bit less tedious. Okay, this is the Canon Type Star 4 with the Staples brand thermal fax paper. So we'll just do every key, lowercase, uppercase. I will not do alternative keyboard symbols. This should give us sufficient data to compare the different typefaces. Okay, so this is the EKG paper rolls eight and a half inches wide on the Canon Type Star 4. Okay, this is the Brother letter size paper. Okay, this is the Pentax thermal letter size paper. So I've gone ahead and uh, cut out each of the tests from each of the sheets. So I have a series of strips, and each strip has the name of the paper that I used as well as the machine that was used on. So we can do some real comparisons here. But I did want to show you that Looking at the roll paper itself, the two kinds of paper, uh, you'll notice the Staples fax paper curls toward the back of the paper so that when you roll it into the machine, it will curl toward the back of the machine, which is okay. I think that's good. But the EKG paper I'm using curls toward the front side of the machine. And what's wrong about this is when you thread it into your machine, it's going to curl over and hide your view of the page that you're typing on. It's kind of a nuisance and what I've had to do is to attach like a binder clip to the top edge of the paper just to weight it down enough so it'll pull it back and keep from flipping over and blocking the view of the typing. So there is that uh, problem with the EKG paper versus the fax paper, but the fax paper is also the thinnest paper of all these four that I'm testing and it is kind of delicate the coating on it is not quite as dark or dense as some of the, of the other papers so it's less than ideal it's not the ideal paper to type on but the thing about the fax paper is it's the most readily available of any of these papers you can get it at least in the United States at any big box office supply retailer has rolls of fax paper and also it's readily available online now, as far as the paper sheets, the Pentax is a little bit thinner than the Brother. It's not as thick, 
The coating is probably not quite as thick, but it's really pretty good as we'll see shortly. And as far as comparing either of the roll papers to the letter sheet papers, the Pentax paper is certainly thicker than either of these rolls of paper. So if you're looking for more premium thickness paper in sheet form rather than rolls, definitely one of these two is the better kind to get. The finish kind of reminds me of magazine paper. You know, the kind of paper that they print magazines on that are kind of coated. It has that kind of magazine feel, which is kind of nice. And by the way, if you've ever tried to type on the back side, the non-thermal side of this uh, heavier letter size thermal paper with a manual typewriter, it takes ink really well. So I'd like to rate these papers by thickness. So the thinnest of the papers, of course, is going to be the Staples brand fax paper. The next thicker will be this EKG paper that I got off of Amazon. It has the red dot grid. And both of these first two papers, of course, come in rolls. And then the third thickest, the second most thick, I should say, is going to be this Pentax paper. And yeah, it has a nice, smooth finish. It's not as thick as the Brother paper but it's quite nice as well. So I think as far as letter size thermal paper, either one of these, the Brother brand or the Pentax brand, seems to be fine, but there are some differences besides thickness. Well, first of all, in analyzing these various types of paper with various machines, let's just cut to the chase as far as which one is the best combination. If you have the Canon Typestar 220, it appears like it doesn't really matter what kind of paper you're printing on. From the cheapest fax paper to the best letter size paper, they all are very dark because the thermal print head on that machine is designed to do racing of special thermal cartridges. And so it has a very hot thermal head and it does a great job on all of these. So, you know, if you don't really care about the difference between letter size sheets of paper versus roll paper, and you're not picky in that regard, any of these papers will work fine with the Canon Typestar 220. So we can kind of get that out of the way right now. But let's compare the other four machines on all these papers. The second learning that is important to note is these four were printed on the Sharp PA 1050 and it has this bad printing. There is a bad pixel in one of the rows of the thermal print head and so you see these lines that come through the printing. I don't remember this machine having that problem the last time I used it. But anyways, there it is. It looks like there's a bad pixel. Regardless of what kind of paper you're using, it's going to show up bad even on the best paper. It does look better with the Brother paper, however, and it looks worse with the fax paper. So if you have a problem a print head on one of your machines, you might want to stick with the better quality letter type paper. Even the Pentax paper, which looks good on all the other machines it doesn't look quite as good but I think the brother brand paper is marginally acceptable with this flaky print head on my particular typewriter so here we have a comparison of the brother EP20 dot matrix style printing on all four kinds of paper and I'll say that it is adequate on all four papers. You can read it. There's no problems. I mean, it's not going to be as nice and dark as the Canon Typestar 220 on the Brother type of paper, like up here with the Brother name, but it's dot matrix printing, but it's fine. Now you can see the difference. It is a little darker on the nicer letter size paper, these two. It's a little lighter on these, but it's perfectly doable. And this is another reason why I keep the EP20 around, besides the fact that it's so small, is it seems to work fine on a lot of different kinds of paper for what it is. And the keys on that typewriter, even though they are kind of like calculator keys, they don't have any problems like of not registering the keystroke. So it's a nice, reliable typewriter. But I say with the Brother EP20, any of these papers will work adequately. But of course, the letter type papers will be slightly darker and it's going to be flat paper, not in rolls. So here we're comparing the Canon Typestar 4 on all four of these different kinds of paper. I think you can see that 
The brother letter paper is noticeably darker than with the Pentax paper, but the Pentax paper is fine. It itself is better than the EKG or the fax paper. And I will say, comparing the two roll papers here, and it looks to me like the red grid pattern of the EKG paper kind of obscures your ability to easily read the text. Whereas the fax paper, even though it's cheaper paper, thinner paper, I think it's a little bit readable, but on the Type Star 4, all of these are adequate. It wouldn't be a real problem using any of these kinds of paper, but the Brother one definitely stands out as darker paper. Here we're comparing the Brother EP43 on all four types of paper. I was in the bold mode on the EP43. Obviously, the Brother paper is the darkest of the four, but the Pentax paper is a close second. It's not too bad. And then as far as the facts and the EKG, they both look almost the same. Maybe the EKG is printing a little bit more boldly, but again, the red grid pattern seems to detract from the readability somewhat. So even though the cheap paper here has the worst imprint and it's the thinnest paper, sometimes it looks just a little bit more readable. But clearly, you couldn't go wrong with any of these papers, but I think these two roll papers are starting to look marginal quality. I would probably stick with letter type paper, either the Pentax or the Brother paper with the EP43, at least with my EP43. Well, it is good that we have options with regards to thermal paper to keep these nifty little 1980s era and maybe 90s era thermal typewriters in good running order, of course, because the ribbon cartridges are as rare as hen's teeth. There's a few out there on the used market new old stock, but basically they're not being made anymore. So we're stuck with using thermal paper. And I do like, of course, the Brother branded paper. It looks like it came out the best in this comparison, as you might expect. It is the thickest. But this Pentax paper came in second best. I'll leave a link down below for those two papers, as well as this EKG paper that I've been using. As far as the fax paper, you can go to any big box retailer or online and look at eight and a half inch wide fax paper. They're all pretty much the same. So if you're interested, I'll leave links down below. I have no relation to these sellers. These are just products that I bought myself with my own hard earned money. But in the meantime, I have five thermal typewriters and it's just sad about the uh, Sharp PA 1050 having that printhead problem. But anyways, in the meantime, there's four other thermal typewriters in my collection that have uh, good performance. And I really like the uh, Canon Type Star 220, by the way. That's a great machine that's down here. So if you guys have any questions, leave a comment down below. I'd love to hear them. But thermal typewriters are great to use late at night when you want to be really quiet and stealthy or in a public setting where you just have to get some writing done and you like to write to paper. Thermal typewriters are great. They're quiet. I love them. I hope you do too. Stay creative. Have a great day. Bye-bye for now.